I am so excited. Wrong Wrong is releasing all of these products, a new artist collection sticker book, Latina, everyday collection book, new series that she's starting, a new collection, something for Hobonichi, and this awesome accessory along with a couple of new PET tapes. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff here for me to go over with you. Let's get started. Welcome back to my channel where I share all things planner related, flip throughs, unboxings, plan with me's, and tips and tricks for you to use in your planner. I have Wrong Wrong's fall release number two here to share with you. So she did put out a release last month for fall with a lot of fall vibes, spooky Halloween, fun Halloween, beautiful autumn, and if you want to see what's in that release, I will have that linked for you up here. I am an affiliate of Wrong Wrong. She did send me these items. And if you are interested in picking anything up, I do have an affiliate link down below. It will give you 10% off. All you need to do is use the link. There is no code that you need to get the 10% savings. All right, so I'm going to start off with this Chicago Planner Sticker Pack, and this is part of a new series that she is introducing. It is a city tour series that will contain sticker packs, and there is a PET tape here, and I'm assuming she's going to be releasing different cities with this combination of the sticker pack and the PET tape. But of course, I don't know all of those details. To start off with, she is starting with Chicago, which is my hometown. I'm so excited about this. The reason she's starting with Chicago is because she will be attending the Chicago Planner Conference, which is happening in early November. And I will also be going there, so I'm really excited to meet up with her. Again, I did meet her last year, and I'm just really, really excited to see her again and give her a big hug. Um, so let's go ahead and go through this sticker pack. I believe that there's 10 pages in here, and then of course I will show you the PET tape as well. All right, so the first pages are paper stickers. We've got some beautiful colors here, and she did choose this color scheme based on the flag for Chicago. And we've got, you are exactly where you need to be. Get it done. I love Chicago, that banner. We've got various different size boxes here. And then this one, we have um, some more like deco with a skyline in the back. This one's really cute, this like wide strip sticker. It's got different uh, iconic locations in the city. So that is really cute. Hanging on the, this like little, it looks like a line just like with a clothespin. Really, really cute. Cheers from Chicago with the bean in the back and she's wearing a Chicago Bulls hat. Love that. This one's got a Chicago Cubs sweatshirt on and this one has the Chicago flag. So cute. I love, love, love it. I cannot wait to use this. We have another like a uh, big washi strip sticker here with all of the Chicago girls here. And again, some more functional stickers. Chicago is tough, so are you. And then we've got this other little strip sticker down here with various different food items that you would find in Chicago and we are very popular for. So really cute, we've got some planners and then this one has Grow, Evolve, Create and that is the theme for the Chicago Planner Conference this year. So that is why she has incorporated that in here as well. We've got some heading stickers here. These are so cute with the coffee, Chicago Auditorium Theater here, the Chicago Musical, which if you've not seen, it's so good. Even if you like catch the movie, I really liked the movie also. I've seen it um, in the theater a couple of times here and it's so good. All right, now we've got our Cubs girl in front of Wrigley Field, love that. Um, and then we've got another like full box here, Chicago Girl and some planners and that concludes like all of the paper stickers now we have some clear stickers and this is like a little bit larger what we saw in one of these other stickers where we have it looks like just a line holding these pictures 
of Chicago landmarks here, the Skyline Chicago, and then the theater. We've got Michigan Avenue, the, which is the Magnificent Mile. And then we have Grow, Evolve, Create, and this is the emblem from the Chicago Planner Conference. So if you're wondering what that is from, that is why she included that in here. We've got a Chicago Bulls cap, um, pizza, of course, our hot dogs, mustard, no ketchup when you come to Chicago, okay? You do not put ketchup on your hot dogs here in Chicago. Just a little bit of an FYI if you do not know. Super cute. Hello, Chicago. Love that. The bean. Oh my goodness. If you're not familiar, that is in Millennium Park. And it is just a beautiful sculpture, really. Um, and it has been entitled The Bean, which it's, I think it's actually called something totally different, but that's what we all call it because that's what it looks like. We have a picture of Pizzeria Uno here, deep dish pizza. And then here we're seeing more grow, evolve, and create. Now we've got our Chicago girls. I love it. So diverse, of course, as Chicago is. And then we've got our Cubs girls here. I love, love, love it. So, so cute. I can't wait to use this. And then here she has a sweatshirt on. It says Grow, Evolve, Create. That is, again, a nod toward um, the Chicago Planner Conference. Super, super cute. All you need is love and skylines. You can leave Chicago, but it will never leave you. Big cities have big hearts. Yes, yes, we do. So I am really, really excited about this. Um, super, super cute. Let's open up the PET tape. And I wanted to, I didn't open it already because I kind of wanted to show you how easy it is to open. However, I definitely recommend if you have nails to not mess up your nail just by puncturing the bottom here with anything sharp. Um, so let's open it up. And she's got these like little perforated packaging, which makes it so easy to open these up. All right, to start this little tape, you might want to use something that you can lift it. I just have these nails and it's a little bit harder for me to grasp it. So let's see here. So sometimes it might cling on to a sticker behind there, which you can usually just take the sticker right off of there with no problem. All right, so the PET tapes are a clear type of sticker. They are up like a plastic, but they're a different type of material than the, your regular clear plastic. It is PET material and I love it. It's so beautiful. She has matte and they are all kiss cut. So therefore you do not have to cut these out. They're already cut for us and look at how pretty she is. I love it. All right, so now these are definitely much bigger girls. So if you want like bigger girls or you really just like the deco, I'm loving that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at the bean. You're exactly where you need to be. The hot dog, pizza, cheers from Chicago. I love this one. I love Chicago. I am going to put that on what I think I'm going to put that on my like um, thermos. It's so pretty and it's like neutral because it's white. I love Chicago. We've got Pizzeria Uno and then we've got this girl and then it starts to repeat. So it's really long before it starts to repeat. We've got autumn and winter box sticker collections. So for those of us like myself that love to use colorful boxes, we have got a book now that is going to be for like fall and winter theme colors. So we've got a little bit darker tones here. The first um, collections are for fall and then the last ones are going to be for winter. So we've got three pages of each color scheme here in various sizes, some of which have lines in them, checklists, strips here, long stickers, and then we do have some solid boxes which is kind of nice if you like to use like a white gel pen or if you want to use them just for layering. Those are really, really nice. So this is three pages of this color scheme here. We've got some round stickers and now we're on to the next color scheme. So we're going to see the same layout for each one, but um, just in the different colors. 
So this is part of her everyday line, this particular book. And this one's actually going to be $17.99. That is a great deal. Here's another color scheme. Still keeping with the fall colors of the browns and like auburns and some greens in here. Like, um, and then we've got, again, some more circles, flags, little circles. So this is similar to her rainbow boxes that she put out for the springtime, but now we've got it here for fall. Okay, so now we're getting into some like, like plum colors still with the brown and then like forest green here. And we're gonna have three pages of this. Now we're into more of like winter colors. So we've got darker colors in like a really, like kind of like a rust red color and a really deep forest green. So you can use these for like your winter time, doesn't necessarily have to be for Christmas time, but if you want to, you could because there's a lot of like the same color tones in here, but just a darker color, like just darker. Okay, now we've got some like grays in here and some like dark, uh, like wine color. And then now we're getting into more of like, almost like cold snow colors, if you will. Yeah, I love these. I love using colorful boxes and these colors are so different than what they have. This is another color scheme and this is the last one with some plums in there. And that is it. So each color scheme, uh, there's four for fall and four for winter, and then they each have three pages. Okay, so the next book that we're gonna talk about is her Latina sticker book. This is premium hand-drawn sticker book from her artist collection. I am so excited about this. It's so beautiful. We are currently celebrating Hispanic heritage and she definitely wanted to release this sticker book during this time period. She does have a Latina sticker pack that she had released previously and she's been wanting to do a full book because the sticker packs are just, you know, they are a much smaller quantity whereas this one is a full sticker book. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at it. It's so beautiful. I love everything in here. All of the beautiful, vibrant colors that we have in here. So um, half of the book is going to be paper stickers and then the other half will be clear stickers. And every page is unique. So we've got a lot of like deco in here. We've got full boxes with illustrations. And then of course we have blank like functional boxes if you will we've got these beautiful long strip stickers look at this beautiful door here think like a latina so pretty we have selena in here so beautiful and i love these like wreaths which are like um color shaded in boxes if you will you can use them for layering you can write in them Love that outline, that detailing of the boxes with the print. That is so beautiful. I am of Mexican heritage. However, I do not speak Spanish. I am American born and I was raised with American traditions. So there is a lot of things that are in like my heritage that honestly I'm not really familiar with simply because that's not how I was raised. Um, my family's been in this country for quite a few generations and that is the reasoning behind that. So I don't speak Spanish, but I definitely wanted to look up and make sure that I shared with you what the sayings are in here. So that one is Latin woman and we're gonna move on here and there's gonna be some more in here. So we've got Latina still standing. This one I love, feed me tacos and tell me I'm pretty. Oh my goodness, I love that, that's so cute. And then this is, um, I'm going to try to say it in Spanish. Please do not judge me if I don't have the right like pronunciation. Lo mejor esta por venir. 
and that one is the best is yet to come and then we got pen dolce which of course is the mexican pastries i love pen dolce so good latina t-shirt work like a latina boss love 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 it okay so now we have um some more elements here oh that's so cute we've got the we've got a starbucks cup i just noticed that that's so cute um i think this is like a mexican coffee and i'm not sure what that drink is we've got the churros down here though we've got selena these beautiful boxes Disfruta de las pequeñas cosas, which means <laughs> I have a little note sheet on the side here to make sure I say the right thing. Um, again, pronunciation is not going to be there, but I will try. Uh, we've got some dots and then we've got some note pages. I love these little elements that she's been putting in her books uh, this year. So cute. Uh, las cosas buenas. Toman tiempo, and I believe that that is the good things take time. <laughs> I love those colors, they're so beautiful and vibrant. Latinas get it done, make jefa moves, make boss moves, Latina power, uh, buenos cosas, uh, even su tiempo, uh, Latina success. And then this one's so cute, Mija, you got this love it i'm not yelling i'm latina that is so funny <laughs> even though i was not raised with like mexican culture and traditions i definitely have that trait <laughs> so funny i love it latina and proud and i definitely am so beautiful and of course we have more selena in here and this girl just sitting here drinking i really like this mija you got this and these beautiful round circle stickers. And these are really pretty if you are in a horizontal planner. Latinas get it done. Uh, work like a Latina boss, Latina boss. So pretty. Now these are beautiful. Look at the clusters. They're already made clusters. I love this idea. So convenient for us. And then at the bottom, of course, we've got some long strip stickers. Gorgeous. And we've got another page of that. Then we have some uh, letters, which I love having the letters. And these have like different print on the inside that we see in this book. That's so cute. And then there's um, cute little icons throughout here. The elements. I love them. Numbers at the bottom. These strip washi strip stickers are so beautiful. And if you go to Wrong Wrong's website and check out the live classes section, you will see a workshop um, done by Jenny that she does to create these beautiful waterfall tabs in her um, notebooks. Gorgeous, gorgeous way to use these. So much fun. So make sure you check out Wrong Wrong's live workshops. Um, I am also featured on the very first one that she did. So it was really fun and exciting. All right, now we are done with all of the paper stickers. And yes, gorgeous, gorgeous. And now we are on to the clear stickers. Beautiful color saturation on here. Love all of the diverse girls in here. Oh, so pretty. So we've got uh, Latina Power. These are all like modern Latinas here. I love this one that she's just like thinking. It's so beautiful. Okay, and then this page, we've got Frida in the center here. Then we have some um, like traditional dress. This one is beautiful. I love her. She is gorgeous. We've got um, Selena down in through here, and then we have some modern Latinas here. So beautiful. And then here are some more in different sizes, and then put together and arranged um, differently here. Then we have a make hefa moves, make boss moves, and then um, Miha, you got this. This is so pretty. She's standing in front of that beautifully decorated door. This, she's so cute. And then we've got some florals at the bottom. I'm not yelling, I'm Latina in the bigger, bigger sticker there. We've got some hot sauce here and some more like um, 
Mexican pastries, this Latina t-shirt, I really like that, pan dulce, and then we've got Tres Leches cake here. Oh, so cute and so yummy looking. Oh my gosh, this is making me hungry. And this is gorgeous. So many beautiful, and look at all this, a page of these beautiful florals. And these are really nice because they're, they're like bumped up against the edge or they're caught in an angle so that way they fit like nicely in the corner of your planner pages without you having to cut them yourself, which is always nice. Latinas get it done. This is so pretty with the framing of the florals around her. Latina, and here's that sticker again. I'm not yelling, I'm Latina. I like that we get a few of those because then um, in different sizes too. Las buenas cosas toman tiempo. Good things take time. Feed me tacos and tell me I'm pretty. That is so funny. Make heffa moves and then more florals at the bottom. Oh my gosh, that is everything in this book. It's so beautiful. The colors are just so vibrant and cheerful and just a beautiful celebration of Latina um, heritage and culture. Okay, let's go ahead. There is a PET tape. So let's go ahead and open this up. And we're going to get the same thing here where they're going to be um, like the Chicago PET tape where we're going to have like bigger girls on here and just to like a lot of the deco. Now where's, here we go. Okay. All right. Let's open it up. Okay. And I do like to keep these because then I will reapply it. All right, so this one was cut, so she starts like right here. And let's take a look. So we've got a lot of the elements here. Oh, she's super cute. Oh, these are so pretty. Really, really pretty. Okay, let's see here. We've got a long roll here before it starts to, ooh, look at how beautiful. Oh, and then we've got a big Selena. I love it. Latina power. And this girl. I think she's my favorite. Oh, she's beautiful. Super, super cute. So this is where it like starts right here. So we've got a long stretch here before it starts to repeat. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that girl. Gorgeous. And then you just get a repeat of that whole strip here. Maybe I will do a quick plan with me with these girls because, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. All right, the next thing I want to share with you is her Fashion Girl Vault Collection. These are some of her most loved illustrations. So you, if you have been following Wrong Wrong for a little while, then some of these might be very familiar to you and they might be some of your favorites as well. These are a limited edition. These are only available um, as tangible stickers that you would have to order. There's a total of 17 girls here. So this first one here is just a girl with goals. Beautiful. I love this. Oh my goodness. I love that pink hat. This one here is fall girl Rachel. Look at how cute she is. Slay all day Kim. Gorgeous. We've got lipstick and hustle Anna. Girls support girls Kelly. We've got Wonder Woman. Oh my gosh, I love Wonder Woman. So excited to get this. Uh, Lady Latte, she is one of my favorite illustrations. Love her. And we've got to Be Beautiful, Carmen. Be your own kind of beautiful. I love these thigh high boots. She's just so fashionably chic. I love it. We've got Marilyn. Look at how beautiful Marilyn Monroe. Lipstick and Hustle with Teresa. So cute. Oh my goodness. I love her. Vanessa is one of my favorites. And I have her on a Wrong Wrong mug that I got a few years back. Love, love, love her. Oh my goodness. Look at this. We've got Hocus Pocus. So cute. 
perfect getting ready for halloween we've got hustle and heart will set you apart and this is erica i love her head wrap and those cat eye sunglasses with that animal print that long jacket she's just so chic looking i love it and we've got curvy girl zendaya she's super cute in her denim and we have Selena, so beautiful. Oh, she's so pretty. And then we have Audrey Hepburn in her iconic role in Breakfast at Tiffany's. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. So if you want to pick one up, they're $7.50 a piece. Or if you want to grab the bundle, I'm not sure the price on those, but you definitely could grab the bundle and get all of them. And um, yes. So exciting. All right, let's talk about the accessory. Hands off my stickers, sticker storage album. This is gorgeous. If you have been with Rong Rong for a little while, you might be familiar with her first sticker storage album that she put out. And she is coming out with these for each season. So this is the fall edition. Look at that beautiful foil. It is on a twin loop coil, which is really nice. Let's open it up. Look at the inside. It's so beautiful. I love that. Oh my gosh. It is like all of the deco from Amber Allure sticker book that she released last month. If you um, haven't seen that, or if you have, then you are familiar with it. And then the back inside cover is also, of course, like the same. So pretty. Okay, now if you're not familiar with these sticker book albums, you get 25 pages of clear sticker paper. So what that is, is that you could lay your stickers on here and then you can um, store them on here however you choose. So let me go ahead and grab Audrey here and let's put her on the page, right? And then you can store her there. And then when you're ready to use her, you just peel her up with ease because it is the backing of your sticker paper. That's what these pages are. So I love, love, love this concept. And I really, really love using this for a lot of different things. The main thing that I'm going to do with these is I'm going to go ahead and put my PET tapes on here. So that way I can go ahead and um, categorize all of them because there are so many of them and it would be kind of nice to have like everything all on one page. I actually saw Michelle from Plan On It. She organized all of her PET tapes on the other book and it worked out beautifully. I'm so excited that she's releasing these for like each season and then that way, you know, I can go ahead and categorize all of my PET tapes. Um, these are great for planning out your pages. It's like the perfect size for a happy planner page so you can do some like pre-planning. Now, remember if you do get this, that the sticky part where you put the stickers is only on the front. You cannot use the back. That is just paper. Um, I think she's going to try to come out with a product that has it on both sides. So that way you can get use for both of the um, sides on here. So that way you would have like double the usage of these pages. On the back, there are three pockets. So if you want to store your sheets, that is a perfect place for you to go ahead and do that. You can store them right in here. And the, um, these limited edition sheets fit perfectly in here. So you have them in there or the sticker packs. Either you can take them off of the pages. I've done that before, like as I've used them and just put them onto the sticker sheet so they're like all together. Or you could just store the pack itself back here. So yeah, I love, love, love this. Super awesome. I think that these are gonna really go. So if you wanna get these, make sure that you are um, there. The release is like available today. So make sure you get on that right away. Um, so that way you can go ahead 
and pick this up. Now there's one more thing here that I wanna share with you and that is the Bookworm Volume 2 and this is a Hobonichi kit. I do not have a Hobonichi, it's Hobonichi Cousin Kit to be specific. And I don't have a Hobonichi, I'm actually not familiar really with Hobonichis, just a little bit, but she does have a collection of Hobonichi Cousin Kits um, and there's a few of them available. The kits come in three pages and you can see how much smaller these stickers are, but they're, they're so cute. So those of you that use like maybe smaller planners, if you don't use a Hobonichi, but you like the idea of these smaller stickers, I think that these would work really well in like your mini happy planner sizes or whatever smaller planner you use like let's say you use a pocket size planner those would be perfect um they're they're just like the perfect little size for any small planner or if you just don't want to have a lot of big stickers in your planner that might be another thing that you might like or you just want to have a, like a small like decorative stickers in there and you don't want the big full stickers it does have some headings here at the bottom as well so this one is bookworm volume two which this uh she actually released this in her first fall release but she did send this to me so that way i could share it with you and then also i am going to try to go ahead and use this in a smaller planner because i think that these will work out really nicely all right, so let's do a quick little plan with me. This is my A5 Erin Condren Daily Duo. So it is definitely a much smaller size. And I want to use the Latina PET tape here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull them and then I'm going to put them on the book here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use that one. Oh, that one's beautiful. Oh, it's going to be really hard. That's the thing when I have like brand new, it's so hard for me to decide what I want to use. Oh my goodness. All right, so for sure, I definitely want to use these florals because they are beautiful. And maybe this coffee, pastries here. Let's grab some more florals. It's for this one, for this one, just because she's a little bit smaller and I think that I kind of like that idea. I think I really like this one better. She's just really pretty. So you see how I just kind of collect the stickers that I might want to use. And then let's see. This box is going to be really nice. It's not exactly the same color, but it will work. I realize the color tones are definitely much darker than the Latina. It's kind of nice to have like neutral boxes and to me these seem kind of on the neutral side. And you know what, I'm gonna lay her down first cause she's pretty big and I wanna see like how much room I'm gonna have. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna lay her down like right down the center. I don't need this huge checklist because this is a Sunday. So, oh, and you know what? I could use um, one of the darker circles um, at the bottom there in like, I'm thinking like this darker red color, this one. This would be kind of cool. So that way it sort of looks like she is, um, you know, got like a little bit of like, kind of like a path area. Let me put it down here. I'm going to show you what I mean. So I'm just going to cut it in half. Sometimes I like to cut them ahead of time because it just kind of makes it a little bit easier as opposed to like laying them on the page and then cutting them off. So I'm not sure how I want to use that other half just yet, but I definitely want this to be like kind of where she's walking. Just kind of like to create like a little bit of a story whenever I use my stickers. And I feel like I'm not laying her down straight. Here we go. Okay, and I might need to, yes, I'm gonna cover up 
some of these dots because they're shadowing through and I don't really want that. Oh, she is pretty. Okay, so now let's go ahead and use I think I want to kind of create a little bit of a cluster up here, but I want to bring in some of the florals, but a lot of these florals don't necessarily go with, but I think that that will work really nicely. Let's see if there's anything in here. I'm going to grab this yellow and I'm going to bring it in here. And I'm gonna cut it so that way I can bring it on the side. And I think I'm gonna use this up here. Kind of bring the deco throughout and then okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this little corner of the sticker because I don't want that shadowing through so either I use like a whiteout or I use um, the little exacto to cut the little sticker down. I'm always trying to be careful because I don't want to like cut all the way through the paper, but her stickers are like definitely like really nice quality. So they are on the thicker side, which I appreciate that because then um, they're just a really, really nice quality. Okay, so I'm gonna put that here, but I'm gonna cover up this little line because that will shadow through. Whoops. Okay, that looks cute. And then I wanna use this here. All right, so now I need something down here and I don't really need anything like to be, oh, but this flowers, that would be pretty. And maybe this, kind of like stay with the same colors. Now these have the straight edge, but I don't want that, that like little clear part to be hanging off. So I'm just gonna cut that because these are the PET tapes and that's how they like cut out. I think I could use just the one sticker and kind of like cut it down. And that will be cute like on either side because I do like that she's kind of like standing there. Now, I want to have some kind of like quote or something here, but I don't see anything on the PET tape that I want to use. So let's come back over here. This one, this is perfect. This is like that mustard color. Think like a Latina. And I'm gonna put that right here, but I'm gonna lift up these little florals because I want to sneak it under here. Well, actually, let me just lift them up completely. Okay, and then I do want to bring in 
that one up here. I think that's really pretty. Or I could bring in this one. Yeah. A little bit smaller. Pretty. Okay, so now I just want to bring in this little like piece at the top here just to kind of like connect it all because I used it down here. So I'm just gonna cut it and let's just bring it in here. I'll probably have to cut it again, but that's okay. All right, and then I really want to bring in these flowers in here just to kind of like create like a nice full balanced spread. So I'm going to cut off that little clear part and I'm going to turn this around so I can see this a little bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and cover up the hours here and maybe this line and maybe this one here. So let's bump that against here. Oh, that looks so pretty. I really like that. I feel like I need a little bit more flowers or something at the top to just kind of like balance that a little bit more. And I think I'm going to grab ooh, this one right here, this PET tape. That'll work. Maybe like right up here, just to kind of balance it out. Okay, so let's trim that. And I'll put the other half of it next to it like that oh my gosh I love it I love it okay I'm gonna actually cover up these two little dots and I'm gonna put a couple of dots here I think or actually I think I'm gonna put them up here because quite honestly I don't really um use the um hourly part of the schedule on Sundays. So I think I'm gonna add a few there and then that'll kind of like balance it out. So let's grab, let's grab these. All right, now I think I'm gonna just add a couple of boxes in here. So I found this one here, found a couple of them. I found this like mustard one, which I think would be really cute. And I think I'm gonna grab this one. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm gonna maybe put this little one here and then bring this one in. So it's kind of like layered. And then I'm gonna grab these cute little flowers here off the PET tape and kind of fill things in. All right, so that was so much fun decorating this page. I did something a little bit different in my daily planner, but you can see how, um, you know, it doesn't matter what size planner you have or how big the sticker is, you can make it work. Just using all of the different like elements um, together, the autumn and winter uh, box sticker book, um, that was really nice. There were some dark tones in there which I sort of kind of liked bringing those darker boxes in there and some of the darker, that darker tone mixed with the beautiful, like vibrant colors from the Latina sticker book. And then of course the PET tape. So, oh my gosh, 
such beautiful stickers. I'm really excited to like dive in and create some really fun and pretty things. So I will definitely be doing a plan with me with these stickers. So that will be coming on my Saturday morning video. Now, just a few reminders, this does release today. So make sure if you want to grab, especially some of these limited edition sticker sheets, um, again, they are only available in the sticker sheets. So if you want to grab these, make sure that you order these today because I have a feeling that these are going to go really, really quickly. Um, remember to use my affiliate link down below. I greatly appreciate it, but mostly you will save 10%. So make sure that you use that so that way you get a little bit of savings for yourself. Additional details for pricing, I will have that listed down below. Just make it a little bit easier for you to go ahead and reference it. And if you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe. And when you do hit that notification bell, that way you'll be notified when my videos come out. And drop a comment down below. Let me know what are you most excited about for this release. I know it's like so different and everything is like different from one another, but it's such a fun release. I really feel like because it's so different, there's something here for like everyone, like you're going to find something here that you're really going to like, I think. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. And I know that this video is a little bit longer, but I like to take my time and show you all of the things. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.